Ready. Good morning. We in Clayton Kitchen this morning. What I'm planning to do today is some nice, chunky, conky pomfritters. I'm chopping them up and I'm going to leave them in these big pieces so every bite of uh, this conk fritter, you'll get big bites of conks. These are my ingredients. What I have here is my tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, my thyme, onions, celery, my bell peppers, my green onions, my pepper. I'm gonna put, make it spicy. Then I have over here my seasonings and spices. And it won't be without my flour. I'm gonna mix it in my bowl, but I'm gonna take my time and cut up some big chunks of conch. When I start to mix it, I'm gonna come back to you to show you the mixture. Like I said, these are some conchs, these are some big conchs. I'm gonna cut them up chunky so you can get a wonderful mouthful of just conch instead of just flour. So I'm gonna work on this and I'm gonna get back to you in a second once I start the mix. Now I'm seasoning, I chopped up my conk, putting in my fresh thyme. The thyme gives it the, the smell and the taste, but I missed out a key ingredient, my paste. So the paste gives it the color. So we're gonna add the paste in now, because I wanna get the color together. And what I'm going to continue doing is adding my mixture. Then I would use my, put in my seasoning so I can get the right taste. But you can see the pan is actually loaded. I'm going to say full, but I'm going to say loaded with, with just conk. So, I'm going to continue doing this until I get to the mix and then I'm going to get back to you in a few minutes and showing you how I mix my pot. Then we're going to fry some. I got my camera warm. That's the only reason I could get her up this morning. I told us to do some, some comfort. So, she just got up. I wanted to start earlier, but I pray God for small blessings. So I'll get back to you when I start the mixture. <laughs> All right. Back again. I mixed up the spices, the wedge. I'm gonna add the flour. You can see it coming together. That's the comfort. Conk in every bite. It looks so lovely. Smell. Smells the same smell. Lovely. And all you can see that's conk. What I'm going to use is this five pound by the flour. For my red ingredient, I'm going to use fresh milk, concentrated milk, and water. So I'm going to mix it until I get it to the texture I like. So I'm going to add it half and just filter it in as I go. Then I'll add the milk and the cream and the water. Once it gets to the texture I like, I'll get back to you and then show you what a good conky conky butter should look like. Be back in a second. I have the final mix here for you. Like I say, it's mixed to my liking to when you drop it in the hot fat. 
gives you a nice fluffy comfort. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in these containers, put them in the freezer. So anytime I want to go and get a bar to bada, fry some fritters to end there. But you can see how nice it looks. You can see the lumps, the lumps of conch. I was told to say chunks of count. So, keeping it real, I want to take out a little bit just to fry and to, and to test to see how, how they taste. This is the final product from Clayton's Kitchen. I have my fritter batch, batch and put, to put in the freezer. I got my conky conk fritters. I'm gonna try one of them. Mm. I must say, very delicious. Mm. So, we're gonna sit down and eat some of these conk fritters and try some over there. Set, set over there is for the camera lady. She's ready to, to eat a comfort early in the morning. So, stay tuned later. We're going to do a chocolate cake. Camera lady, be ready for that? I don't think I'm here. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, see you next time in Clayton's Kitchen.